So look, because I, you know, we talk a lot, right? But I have a question for you, right? Sure. Your profile picture is <laughs> um is a, pretty, that, okay. is a pretty <laughs> iconic face, right? Um, and Andrew here, ooh, there, Andrew yeah, here is you. is actually a Warriors fan. Okay. Um, so your face, when what I gathered from the video, right? Your face <laughs> is one of almost like disgust, right? Yeah. Like, so what what exactly was said? That would cause you to make a face okay. like that, you know. And, and this is during the NBA Finals, right? Oh, this is a fair question. And you you texted me a couple of days ago, and I said, "Look, it's a long <laughs> story. It's not that long a story, but let me do it." Okay. So right. it was it was it was the game that they lost the, the the series to the Raptors. It was over. And not only was it over, it looked like the dynasty was over. It was a historic night. They lost at home, and the first question of that press conference was a big deal. I mean, do you ask a real pointed journalism question or do you go softball city? And I was curious. I mean, I wasn't going to ask the first question. I don't have those kind of cojones. I want to, I want to know who's going to do it. Like, you know, was it Mark Stein or someone, some heavy hitter to come in and ask a real question? Paulo Antunis, God love him. I don't, I never heard of him. He's the, he's a big star in Brazil. He is like the Stuart Scott of Brazil. Anyway, he wow. gets, he gets okay. the mic. And he asks one of these like radio questions where the question is like 45 seconds. And it's like kind of the whole purpose is to get his voice on television. And I didn't really understand where he was going with his question at first. And then when it dawned on me, I just had, I just couldn't hold back. And I was sitting right next to him, well, two feet away. And he just goes, you know, Hey coach, you know, you know, it was a tough series, a tough game, but you know, in that third quarter, fourth quarter, your guys were just diving on loose balls hustling back on defense it's almost a direct quote just leaving it all out there I mean, how proud are you in the effort of the effort of your players like it was literally like it's like dude can you either ask a real question or get the hell out of here there are thousands of journalists there are thousands of journalists in the world that wish they could ask a real question and you're basically like hey can you talk about how hard you guys play and i get the hell out of this room i just yes, couldn't hold just, back it, he asked that to Steve Kerr? Yes. First wow. question after they lost to the Raptors. It's, first question. It's, it's funny wow. because I re- I remember that night because like, I'm, I'm a Warriors fan. I'm from Santa Rosa, by the way. Um, hey. And I know that. No, yeah, two nice. legends. I'm from Oakland, but I used to write for the press. Yes. I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm well aware. I trust that. <laughs> now. Um, and, and I remember, God, that was the Raptors final because yes, I feel like – I feel like it was like the Warriors have been in so many finals. I feel like it was significantly longer than that. And I that know. just goes to show like how long 2020 has been. That was like <laughs> was right, a year ago. ago. Yeah. 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 I, right. I, I still have to remember my fe- myself that the Warriors were the last team before this finals to lose a finals. True. It was and, right when Kawhi Leonard had won it all. Exactly. And and now he's on a different team that yeah. can't win in the playoffs either. So, I just uh, felt like it was like if I had gone to Brazil and had covered – the biggest soccer game in in Brazil that year and knew nothing about the sport, but still fought for the first question after like the Brazilian national team had lost. And my question was, Hey, you know, you guys lost five, nothing, but how proud of you? Are you, how proud of you? Of, are you, are, are you, of, how proud of you? <laughs> there you go. Are you of that your is. players? It would be like that, you know, like talk about the grit and, and the effort they played with as you lost five to nothing. Like you can't do I'm so really glad I got that context though, because like that's the that's the first that's the first picture I've ever seen of you before I even got to know you, right? So I never understood. Like I'm just like, why is he looking like that? And then and then that other video comes out, and I'm just I needed context finally, so I'm glad I got yeah, it. Man. Yeah, East, East Bay Chris was uh, asked, was a uh, Kerr proud though? That's the oh my god. Was 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 Steve Kerr proud of the effort he saw? Uh, Steve Kerr's the nicest guy. He'll oh, yeah. he'll ta- he's, he doesn't object to a softball question. He encourages nope. softball questions. Oh yeah, he doesn't want the pointed question. So I, he, he, I'm sure he gave a great answer and, and appreciated Paulo Antunis's charity. Paulo, <laughs> the hell was that? Oh, okay, follow up story. Follow-up, uh, this is even better. Okay. All right. So during the Super Bowl, I meet up with this one Brazilian journalist who's okay. a fan of mine and. He, he's chilling on South Beach with other Brazilian journalists. We go there, and I come in. They're like, "You're the guy who gave that look to Paulo Antunes. No. We freaking hate Paulo Antunes. He big times everyone. He's got the biggest ego." It's like, "Oh, 
hella funny. Somewhere in Brazil, there's just Grant Cohn posters hanging. Yeah, that picture just randomly. Yeah. There. <laughs> uh, you know what? Now, now talking about it, it gets me upset because I was down there from um in Miami too, and we were like, oh, I, no. I never, yeah, that's what I'm saying, whatever. But if had we known each other, that would have been exactly. No, exactly. Now and now, we'll yeah. never get outside ever again. Ever. Uh,